Hey guys and finally welcome back uh, to another video and before I start this video I want to say thank you to, to each one uh, of you for the 3k subscribers uh, finally uh, we reached the 3k subscribers so thank you to each one of you and guys uh, I know that I, I haven't been uploading that much and there is a special reason for that I've been uh, really busy Basically what happened, uh, a few weeks ago a friend asked me uh, if I could find a car to him and I started searching for a car of course and I find uh, Audi A3 1.2 TFSI um, and I just uh, pick up the car, make the deal and take care of the car to, to deliver the car to my friend in a good condition. I will, I'll try to show you because I don't have video, okay? but I have a few pictures uh, of the car uh, it's a pretty decent car you know I like it it's uh, actually really cool it's from 2011 but after that another friend liked it so much that car that uh, asked me if I could find another one um, a similar at least not exactly the same okay but similar so I start searching, I find out another car, which is this one that I'm driving right now. Uh, it's Audi A3 from 2008 and it's a 1.4 TFSI. But unfortunately it have a few problems uh, that I need to take care. So basically it have a few defects of course. Uh, some of them, uh, when I first saw the car, I realized the problems and to be honest some, uh, the seller, uh, didn't tell all the truth about the car, you know. Uh, sometimes when you think that people uh, will say you everything about the car, they 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 want they want to sell the car and they don't tell you the, everything they know about the car. Some defects are just cosmetics, uh, just like buttons. Someone apply it um, something similar to carbon. Uh, in the trims, but uh, that um, don't really worry. I don't really worry about with that because that's uh, easy fix. Uh, in the paint, I just have uh, two scratches: not one in the front bumper and a crack in the rear bumper. A small one, but it's a crack. Okay, and uh, in the trunk, it have uh, a dent that I believe I can take care easy. But I have two big concerns. Uh, one is the engine because uh, the idle, it's really rough, you know. Uh, it's really irregular, uh, but that I realized when I first saw the car. And then when I was making the deal, I drive the car uh, to my lawyer to make, uh, you know, the documents. And I realized the car uh, loses a lot of power after the 100 kilometers hour. Basically, I don't feel the turbo uh, getting in, you know, sometimes I feel it, sometimes not. So I know that I have uh, some problem that I need to take care. So before I, I close the deal, I took the car uh, with the seller to the mechanic uh, to make a scan in the car. And I get error code uh, P0172, uh, bank one to reach, basically this means that the car is injecting uh, more fuel than it should. Uh, sometimes you get a black smoke, uh, but that uh, could be caused for many different things. I will have to analyze. Uh, probably some of the solutions for that are made, and it's something that I already had planned, so it's not a big deal. And if that don't solve my problem, uh, I need to analyze uh, carefully, okay? But then I realize a few more defects, you know. But at least uh, one of them, it's, uh, you know, a kind of messy to solve. Uh, when I saw the car for the first time, I realized that in the, whole, in the engine, it's missing uh, at least two hoses. Sabot deleted two hoses for some reason. But this car have GPL or, or gas, so it's a B-fuel. And I thought that uh, someone deleted that connections to install GPL because I don't know basically uh, anything about GPL installation. But then I realized that if I turn on the heat of the car, I don't have hot air. So that means the heater core is deleted. And basically uh, that is a pain in the ass job <laughs> to do, to be honest. 
but it is what it is guys many many people uh, delete that connections when they face problems in the inter core because it's really expensive to fix uh, the problem uh, of that it's not inter core price you know the problem is the amount of job or amount of things that you need to remove to or disassembly uh, to have access uh, to the inter core so if you take uh, a car to a mechanic uh, to do that or to, to fix that they will uh, charge you a lot of money uh, and from what I know at least here in Portugal you may pay like seven eight hundred euros uh, for that job and believe me the inter core only costs uh, like 30 euros so guys, it is what it is. Uh, another thing that I realized after I closed the deal is that the roof um, it's also in a bad condition so I'll have to make the headliner, you know. But guys, it is what it is. In this video, uh, my main concern is the first maintenance of the, the service. It's the oil, engine oil and oil filter. I've, I was thinking about to replace also the pollen filter but uh, that I will do it in another video. Uh, because it's a kind of tricky or weird uh, to do it it's easy okay but I want to show you uh, a part of this video okay let's go for the maintenance uh, of this car guys let's change oil oil filter and air filter uh, because that's it's really really important in the car uh, that's one of the things that I'm always saying it's one of the most important things in a car always add a good oil and keep the oil in a good condition so guys let's go let's replace this oil and it is what it is let's go guys guys the engine it's uh, really hot right now uh, so I will start by replacing uh, the air filter until the engine cool down a little bit then then I will replace uh, the engine oil and the oil filter let's go guys Guys, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but this air filter, I know the brand of this one and I know they are white. Uh, probably you can see it here, it's not white, it's yellow and really dirty. This means that this air filter is here for a long, long time. This is what it is guys, let's replace. Guys, and it's not well installed, I don't know who installed this, but Yeah. The previous filter was badly installed or wrongly installed. Guys, to install these filters, there is a position right here. You know, you put like this, I hope you can see it. And then this is a locker. This will lock your hair filter. You see it? This don't come out. Okay, this is well installed, okay? So guys, I already ejected up the car, now it's time to go under the car uh, to remove the old oil. All you need is a 90 socket, let me see if I can focus, just 19 and let's go guys.
So guys, I also find out underneath the car that there is a lot of oil around and if you see it here the screw don't have these washers copper washers and this could be a problem yeah so guys i ordered a new screw but uh, it didn't arrive yet so i will take this one that the, actually this is like new but i will have these copper washers okay it is what it is guys So guys, I couldn't find any washer that fits on this screw, so I went to a local shop to buy a new one with washer. Guys, 2 euros that this costs. So guys, I will just install this and remove the oil filter to install the new oil. Let's go guys. So guys, I will try to remove the oil filter with this key. Let's see if this works or not. So guys, this key it's really good. Round two. What? So guys, I truly recommend you to use an old claw or something and place down the, uh, the filter because sometimes it drop a bit of oil. So, the new one. And it's done guys so guys if you don't have these kits I truly recommend you to have one this is not so expensive and this could be a lifesaver guys I don't remember really well about this kit one year ago maybe it's just missing this one because it's the one that I used but guys you have a list for basically a, a huge amount of cars and guys this could save your life now i will add new oil and turn on the car i believe this use 3.7 liters so i will add 3.5 like uh, and then i will complete tomorrow okay i will check the level and complete again let's go So guys, first video with the Audi A3 uh, 1.4 uh, TFSI, it's done, uh, which was only the main. Uh, it's missing uh, to replace the pollen filter and a lot of other things, but that's for another video. And guys, thanks for watching, and as usual, see you soon, stay tuned.